Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to implement the sprint function for our player motor script that we made in the last episode. This is gonna be very quick and very easy so let's get into it. First let's just think about what we have to do. So whenever we press shift or any other key, so when we press the sprint key we want to move faster. In our code if you take a look we're multiplying the direction of movement with move speed. So this would be a great place to implement our function. And I have a really interesting way of doing it. So we do have our float move speed, but I also want to create a few new floats. I'll create a float for walk speed, and I will create a float for sprint speed. I'll set sprint, sprint speed to six, and I will set the walk speed to 4 and I will also set the move speed to 0 or you can just type this I will keep this line of the code but I'll still add two more lines I'll make an if statement to check if we're um, pressing shift so key code left shift so this will return false if we're not pressing down the shift key and if we are this code inside of here is going to fire in here I want to say move speed equals to sprint speed and else so we're either pressing shift or we're not so when we are I'm just going to set the move speed to sprint speed and else so if we're not then I'm going to set the move speed equal to walk speed so each frame we're going to check if we're pressing the shift key. If we are, then we're going to multiply move direction with sprint speed. And if we're not, we're just going to multiply it with walk speed. I can actually make this so much cleaner by just removing these brackets. I don't need them sin since it is only one line of code. If we click play, we can press W to move forward, S to move backwards, A to move left, and D to move right. And if we press shift and move forward you can see that we move much faster so this is normal this is sprint now there's one thing I want to implement here and that's to check if we're moving forward because I only want to sprint when we're moving forward sprinting backwards and to the side doesn't really seem interesting I'll make it so you can only sprint forward I can do that very easily by just going at my if statement and where we're checking if we're pressing the shift key I also want to check if we're um, moving forward so if we're pressing the shift key and if move z is equal to 1 so basically what we're doing is you know last time we talked about how input.getaccess works so whenever we go forward move z is going to be set to 1 if we move backwards it's going to be set to minus one so whenever it's one it means that we're moving forward and we want to sprint so oh, this is only going to fire when we're pressing shift and we're going forward if I move to the sides and hold shift it's same as normal and if I move forward and press shift you can see that we sprint in the next episode we're going to be adding the jump function to this but that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, share it around with your friends. Maybe they need help with this. Go support me on Patreon. That would be very much appreciated. And subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.